Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a story time, and it's going to be about the one tattoo that I have. Technically two, but it's one. I'll explain. So, just to get right into it, when I was 15, I thought it would be an awesome idea to get my boyfriend at the time his name tattooed on my neck. So I only had that tattoo for about a month and a half, because two days after my birthday in May, I got a cover-up. And that cover-up is gonna be what this video is all about. So on my 16th birthday, I went all around Delaware looking for some place to tattoo me to cover this, this name up. I couldn't get a tattoo in Delaware because Delaware had this dumbass rule where if you were under 18 and you wanted to get a tattoo, you had to have the same last name as your parent that was signing for you. It was like the dumbest thing ever because I never had my mom's last name. So anyway, I couldn't get tattooed in Delaware, so we took a day trip down to Jersey two days later. During our trip to Jersey, we came across Jersey Devil Tattooing, I think that's what it was called. I know it had Jersey Devil in there somewhere, and looking back I would have never gone to a place named like that because now that stuff like skeeves me out, but back then, I didn't care. Me and my mom walk into this tattoo shop, and this man greets us from behind the counter, and he's like, oh, what do you need done? And I turn around and I show him my neck and I'm like, I need this covered up. He was like, oh yeah, that's no problem. It's small enough, super easy to cover up. He's like, well, what do you want to get? And I was like, I have no idea. Guys, I had a month and a half to pick out what I wanted to get to cover this tattoo up and I came up with nothing. So he starts throwing out these ideas. And again, I understand it's my fault because I didn't go in there with any idea of what I wanted. So of course he's gonna tell me what he wants to tattoo. So he started telling me that I could get a Black Panther where the head would be right here and the tail would be over here. I'm not exaggerating. And then he started telling me that I could get like these American flags on me to cover it up, sail ships and like anchors and stuff, but I just like did not like anything that he was suggesting. So we walk out of that tattoo shop and now I'm like close to tears because now in my head I'm stuck with this tattoo for the rest of my life. But, as fate would have it, as we were walking back to the car, we see this man kneeling against the wall of the building. So he sees us and he's like, oh, they couldn't help you? Like, did you guys come here for something? And I'm like, yeah, like, I came here for a cover-up, but I don't really like any of the suggestions, so we're just gonna leave, like, we're gonna go somewhere else. And he's like, wait, 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 no, I can do it. So, he had an opening for about three hours until his next customer was gonna come in, so he agreed to just tattoo me right then and there. And he opened up this book, and he's the one who suggested that maybe I should go with like an insect or an animal. It wasn't even like a tattoo book, it was like a nature book. And he's opening this book and he's flipping through it, and he's like, what about this one? And it was this purple and pink butterfly. So then he started explaining to me how the lines of the butterfly would like perfectly align and cover the name up. Anyway, I believed him. So he puts the stencil on my neck and he's like, well, I'm gonna have to shave a little bit of your hair off because your neck isn't big enough for this tattoo. Looking back, this is when I probably would have changed what I got because the tattoo was too big. Like it didn't fit on my neck. So the tattoo artist starts tattooing and everything's fine. I'm just, you know, patiently waiting for this tattoo to be over. It took a really long time for the tattoo to be finished because he was like going out for cigarette breaks every 10 minutes. But he did a really good job. He finished up the tattoo in about six hours, but everything was fine. I ended up going home and my first night having the tattoo was like the worst because I woke up the next day and my neck was literally stuck to my pillow. And please do not make the mistake I made of putting Neosporin on your tattoo when it's healing. Somebody tried to warn me that it would take all the ink out, but I didn't listen because I had other people telling me like, I have this many tattoos and it never did anything to mine. So I don't know, maybe it depends on the person, but all I know is I really think that it sucked the ink right out of my tattoo. So enough suspense, I'm gonna turn around and show you guys my tattoo. Again, it's really, really ugly. I got it in 2012 and it is faded dramatically, so you've been warned. So yeah, not cute at all. As far as the meaning behind this tattoo, I hate to say it, but there really is none. Like I really just needed a cover up and I didn't even know what I wanted to get. So I just kind of let the tattoo artist pick something. And when I heard something I liked, I was like, hmm, okay. 
All I really cared about was getting something that I wasn't gonna regret again. <laughs> Came across this quote and it was all like, oh, just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she turned into a butterfly. I don't know, I've always liked butterflies and then I heard that quote and I was like, oh, now I can like think of that every time I see my tattoo. So I don't know, but really it has no meaning. It's just a cover up. This kind of explains why I don't really have a lot of tattoos either. Like after these two and seeing how even my cover up faded and looks like shit now, I don't really want to get any more tattoos. So what am I going to do with this freaking tattoo? I don't know. I've gone back and forth from wanting to get it just completely removed, like lasered off, to wanting to get it touched up. I have no idea what to do. The people that I have talked to about getting it touched up have told me that no tattoo artist is ever going to touch it because it's like bad and they'll have to make it like double the size and I definitely don't want that. So do you guys have any suggestions if I should get it lasered off or leave it how it is and accept my history or um, get it touched up? I don't know. Comment down below and let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story time video and I will see you guys next week. Bye!